Hello everyone, I am Batsuf and welcome to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Today we're going to be playing the first cup of wave 2 of the course booster pass. That is a lot of words. I know I haven't been uploading as much lately, just been a bit busy. I just haven't really known what to play. This second wave of the booster course, it's been out for a while. Jess has played both of the cups, I haven't played any of them. So I'm going to be playing the first one today. So as you can see, Jess has played the turnip cup and the helicopter mushroom cup I believe it's called I don't know uh, but we're gonna be doing the 100 C 100 CC going as my me obviously and yeah let's jump straight into the turnip cup New York minute That was not very good. Christ. Bonk, bonk. This feels really slow. Am I going mad? Is this slow? So fun fact, Central Park in New York is actually based on a park by where I live and it's called Birkenhead Park. And the person who designed Central Park in New York visited it and was like, hmm, I like this and he based Central Park in New York off it. I feel like this is quite boring, this map. Like it looks cool, but as a playable track, it's pretty basic. Like I like that they do change it up a bit, like we saw in the Japan one. It's pretty uneventful, I don't really know what to say. Yeah, as a track, there wasn't really much going on, whereas it looks nice, there's a lot of bright lights and it's quite detailed aesthetically, but it was it was nice. So a very fun announcement is that Alex got a puppy. She is a yellow lab, she is nine and a half weeks old. She might be ten weeks actually, because uh, when we picked her up, the guy said she was nine and a half weeks and that was like three days ago. Yeah, her name's Honey. Alex didn't know what to call her, so I sent him a big list of names and he chose Honey. I think Honey suits her really well. She's so cute. She's really, really smart, which is also really dopey. Uh, Jess and I babysat her the other day, and within half an hour, I was able to teach her how to sit. Come here, yeah, come on, sit. Yes, good girl. Yeah, she's really cute. She was the last of the litter and we got to see the mom and the guy was really nice. Had all the paperwork together. She still needs a second vaccination, but that's fine. But otherwise she's just a lovely dog. She's so cute and you know, it's a puppy who doesn't love puppies. When we met the mom, um, the mom was on the smaller side for a lab, but I think that that'll be fine and it'll suit Alex well because he obviously lives at home with his mom and Jess is other siblings. We thought that when we got home, their other siblings would be like all over it and they just went really arse. They were like, hmm, cool. Alex has been asking for advice a lot and he's been doing really well with her. I think because they haven't been like, oh, it's a puppy, oh. it's, she's been able to settle quite quickly. Obviously, if you fuss in a dog, you can really instill bad habits when they're young. A good example of a dog turning bad is my mum's dog, like my dog Coco. I've shown her on the channel before, but she's just a really vicious dog and she has really bad separation anxiety. She's got loads of health problems. We got her when I was like 11 or 12. So obviously with like kids, you're, you're like, oh, it's a puppy, oh my God, and you're fussing over it and you give it loads of attention. Whereas Alex has been really good and giving her time to sleep because it's really important for a puppy to sleep. Puppies sleep 18 to 21 hours a day. So it's important to just let them settle. Uh, he's got a crate for her as well. and. I said, don't force her in there, just let her get comfortable and let her know that that's her space to like chill out. And she's fine going in her bed, she doesn't whine. She's just a really good dog. She's gonna get so much love and attention <laughs> from everyone. I haven't spoke much about the Mario Kart side of this video. This video's not about Mario Kart, it's about Honey. But uh, I'm in the process at the moment of applying for my own. Labrador. I've obviously got a lot of health problems, um, diabetes and a few others, so I 
would like a Labrador as a service dog, I would train it as a service dog. One of the main things is that I'd like to teach it to detect blood sugar levels because there are points where I do have low blood sugar or high blood sugar and it makes me really ill and obviously Jess can't be with me the whole time, my parents can't be with me the whole time. So having a dog that would be able to assist me in that and help me be more independent is really important. The big issue that we're facing at the moment is that my landlord, I'm in social housing which is a bit different from private landlords. I live in a high-rise block. There hasn't been any pets allowed in high-rise block. They lifted the ban on dogs and flats and stuff. There's a lot of paperwork involved in it. I haven't been told a definite yes or a definite no. I've been in close contact with my house and Officer Carol. She's lovely. They're looking at it favorably because it will be a service animal, but obviously there's a lot of health and safety uh, aspects to it. Uh, but I should hear back from her early next week. I keep getting told, like, oh, you'll hear back at this time, and then I hear back and they're like, we need more time. And I completely understand, and I'm really glad that they're actually taking it seriously and not just giving me, like, a flat out no. But every time, they're like, oh, we need more time. You know the Grinch where his heart grows three sizes? My heart goes, uh, 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 like, Oh, uh, I can't handle. I feel like the longer that I'm waiting and the long, the more they're saying, oh, we're looking at it favorably, like, uh, we just can't say a definite yes yet, and the more it's gonna hurt when they say no. And it's stressful too, because I had a puppy lined up originally. Like, Alex and I were gonna get puppies from the same litter, which I'm glad we didn't, because there is litter mate syndrome. Even though the puppies wouldn't live together, they'd be with each other a lot, and I'd litter mate syndrome, so they just destroy each other. Yeah, I had a puppy lined up originally. It's black lab female. I want a black lab and I want it to be a girl. And then obviously I got told we have to wait. So I had to tell the seller, I'm really sorry, but I don't have a yes yet. I don't want to spend 600 quid on a puppy just for them to be like, no, because you can't take it back. Uh, but I've got a seller lined up now, but I spoke to him on Wednesday. I don't think I'll find out till like Monday or Tuesday. So I'm just, it's gonna suck if I lose this seller and then I can't find any puppies. That's my, that's my biggest thing, like... I, I feel like they're gonna say yeah, but then I'm not gonna be able to find a puppy. Like, within my price range, because people are always selling dogs. It's just... I'm not gonna pay two and a half grand for a Labrador that has no vaccinations, hasn't been wormed and fleed, isn't KC registered, and it, it's really stressful to hold the buckle. If I do get this dog though, uh, we're gonna call her Sage because honey and sage sound cute and I like the idea of them being contrasting. Like honey's yellow and sage will be black. I also want a black dog because me and Jess wear a lot of black ourselves and Labrador's are known to shed. If I get this dog, like it, I don't think anyone understands the amount of unconditional love that will be poured into it. I know what insurance I'm gonna get. I am going to crate train it. I already have a few trainers in mind to help it with its training because obviously if I'm in a high rise block I want it to be trained to perfection. I also have its diet planned out, like literally everything. Every single aspect of this dog. I know what colour I'm going to get her. I just really hope that I can, I'll be able to get this dog because it'll just allow me so much more freedom and I won't have to depend other people as much, which is a thing that I struggle with. I wonder how Coco will react. Because <laughs> when me and Jess first got together, if I gave Jess a cuddle, she'd like jump up and like get between us. It would be cute, we could do like a photo shoot with Honey and Sage. I don't want to keep talking about it, but like I'm so excited, but I'm also nervous. But if I keep talking about it and going into all these details, the more it's going to hurt when they say no, and it's so stressful. Oh yeah, that was good. Waluigi Pinball is a classic. You can't you can't hate Waluigi Pinball. It's pretty sick. I came fourth on that train one, which probably ruined it, but I make these videos more to showcase the maps than to like win. <laughs> Hell yeah, I got one star. I'll have to replay this with Jess so that we get the three stars. Because that's gonna bother me. But yeah, that was the turnip cup 
for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It's September. I think I'm gonna try upload quite frequently. I'm not gonna commit to daily uploads because if I get this dog, I wanna make sure that we start off on the right foot with it. I don't wanna mess around. I want it to be trained properly. I need to start its training quite early anyway with the diabetic training. That's a whole thing in itself, but I'll obviously make a video and introduce you. So f fingers crossed. <laughs> I get this dog, but I'm just really glad that I haven't been told no straight up and that they're actually doing careful consideration with it. But if you'd like to see more from me, you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, you can click the little bell icon to get notified when I upload. And you can also follow me on Twitter and TikTok where I upload updates as to when I'm going live or uploading a video. And I also post TikToks of gameplay and all. So enjoy! Please stay safe, look after yourselves. Fingers crossed we get sage. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.